In the world of coding, developers often face tricky problems and need quick answers. That is where ChatGPT comes in. It's like having a super smart friend who knows a lot of about coding and can help you out wherever you serve. Imagine you are working on a project and you hit a roadblock. You can just ask ChatGPT for advice and it will give you suggestion, tips or even explanation in plain language. It's like having a virtual mentor who is available 24 into 7. Not only that, but ChatGPT can also help with writing documentation, summarizing code and understanding complex concepts. Plus, it's a great for collaborating with other developers because it can understand natural language. So whether you are a beginner or a pro, ChatGPT is here to make your coding journey smoother and more fun. With its help, you can solve problems faster, learn new things and build awesome software with confidence. So before we jump into demo part, here is a quick info for you. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you want to switch careers with AI and ML, then try giving Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This course teaches in demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI prompt engineering, chat GPT, and many more. So don't forget to check out the course link from the description box and the pinned comment. So let's get started. So here are some ways chat GPT can help developers a lot. So first thing is code generation. So chat GPT can help generate code based on what developers want. It understands natural language and can turn ideas into actual code. This saves our times and makes coding fast. So let's take an example. So I will ask chat GPT, Give, give me login, login page code using HTML and CSS. Okay, so this is HTML code you have within a second and this is CSS code you have within a second. So this is amazing, right? So you can ask any sort of code. So let's check whether it's it is working or not. I will create one text document. Okay, paste it. Sorry, save as coding.html. Okay, save. Now I will check the CSS code. Let's copy the code and okay, I will paste it. Now save as style.css so we have both the files let me check one thing it's styles.css styles.css okay so as you can see here the login page okay see username if you will hover why because as you can see here hover hover function is here background color will change so this is how you can use ChatGPT for coding, for any sort of coding, for any languages, JavaScript, React, Java, C, C++, and for any coding you can use. So you can create these type of things within a minute. So moving forward, let's see. The second thing is debugging. So fixing mistakes in coding can take a long time. ChatGPT can help find errors in thousands of line code quickly. It can also suggest ways to fix those errors, making debugging faster and less frustrating. Okay, so I have one small code, HTML code. Okay, you can use your own code. So I will write here, debug this code and find the error. Okay, now I will paste here. So as you can see, the error in the code is ul element. The closing list tag for three element for item three is missing the forward slash causing HTML syntax error. Here is the corrected code. See, it gave us corrected correct code. So as you can see here, ul 
is starting here, but it is not closing. But here you can see UL is starting and it is closing here. And one more thing is item three slash is missing. See here slash, right? And here you can see the slash, backward slash. So the now code is fixed and UL element is closed properly with all ally elements nested inside it correctly. So this is how you can use ChatGPT for debugging the errors in any code or in any language. The third point is documentation. So writing explanation for how code works can be boring, right? So ChatGPT can help by understanding the code and writing explanation for it. So it can even adjust the explanation based on who is reading them, making them easier to understand. So I will copy this code and I will paste it here. Okay. I will copy this code. Uh, write the documentation for this code. So as you can see, HTML documentation. So this is title, my website, structure, purpose, uses. So you can write your documentation for your particular app, software, or website in within a second by using ChatGPT. So this is how you can use ChatGPT for documentation. Okay, so moving forward, testing is another thing, right? Writing code is hard, but finding mistakes in it is even harder, right? This is similar to debugging, okay? So ChatGPT can help by testing the code as it's written. It can suggest things to check and make sure everything works properly. So this makes fixing problem easier later on. So this is similar to testing, right? Okay, so, so moving forward, let's see data pre-processing. Okay, so in machine learning, preparing data is important, right? So ChatGPT can help clean up messy data, making it easier to use for testing and training. So it can handle things like missing values and wrong data formats, making the data more useful. So I have one Excel sheet here. What I will do, I will copy this full table and I will write here, please help me to clean this messy data. Okay, I will paste the table here. Okay, so now you can see here, to clean up this messy data, we can format it into a tabular structure. It gave in it not a tabular structure, using appropriate delimiter and separating each row properly. Here is a cleanup version. Okay, see? So you can even clean the data, your data, like thousand of lines, you can clean it into in 15 minutes or in within a seconds, within seconds you can clean, okay? So this data now is presented in tabular format, which with each country's stats organized into distinct columns, making it easier to read and analysis, okay? And the next thing is you can make test cases for your particular programs okay so what i will do i will copy this code and i will write here <clears throat> create sample five test cases for this code okay so here is the five test cases for the this particular code. Title verification we can make, okay. Header content for the header content, paragraph content, list items, HTML structure. So this is how you can create your test cases, okay, for the particular code, right? To check whether the code is working properly or not. So with this, we have come to end of this video. I hope you like this video. If you have any question, please comment down below. Our team of experts will help you as soon as possible. So thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.